Yeah, guys, look at Devastator. He's looking devastatingly divine. Mm. Very nice. I used to collect a lot of Transformers when I was a kid. I had Devastator. He was not as big as this one. This is a part of the Combiner War set. <clears throat> they got a whole series out. They got also those masterpieces. Oh my gosh, I have a few here I'm going to show in a second. These things are very expensive, just like back in the days. Look at the detail. I got the purple lights going on for him right now. Man, look at that. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass to put them together. Can't get that fist in there. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of gear since my last video. Got new um, homebrews for the Atari 2600, 7800, ColecoVision. I won many games off the gaming wheels. Not not too many, but just a few. I won this beautiful uh, top loader in S. I really made this video because I want to show off this homebrew. Quest Forge by Order of Kings. Yeah, really good, really good homebrew. If you're into RPGs and you love the NES, you have to purchase this game. Um, you can go on the website, um, these guys Pico. You just look them up, type in Pico, type in um, Quest Forge, and you'll be able to find them. You can find them on eBay also. I believe the shipping was a little more on eBay. I shouldn't blow that up, but what are you gonna do? My two latest homebrew for the ColecoVision, Bomb Jack. Look at that, that is beautiful. Plays like the real arcade game, it does. I do want to show a video of this. I, oh man, I picked up so much more homebrews for the ColecoVision. We got Voxel, the Stone of Wisdom, Nightmare, Spelunker, oh my goodness. You guys seen that new Spelunker you could download on the PSN? I don't know if it's on Xbox One or on um, Xbox Live. But um, it's a fun game, it's free to download too, Spelunker on PSN. I like to play with Andrew. Very fun stuff. They actually they actually got like a collabo with um Just Cause 3 on the PS PSN version. Um, previously it was uh Tomb Raider. Because you know Square got the license to um Spelunka. Oh man, I love this company, Brotobun. But yeah, like I said, Square is making those Spelunkas now. They got the rights. Got Mr. Turtle, I probably showed that before. Got a couple of these here. Oh man, I was hope I, I was really hoping to get this and I got it Mecha 8 they're making a Mecha 9 this is by Team Pixel Boy he, he is making a Mecha 9 um, I think I pre-ordered it it's coming out next year I think it was the cartridge to Mecha 8 nice see-through for your ColecoVision Scorges you get a good focus look at that this is one of the older ones it says 2013 but I had to get it he had them in stock so and it goes Bomb Jack, nice blue cartridge. Beautiful. This is not by Team Pixel Boy. These are by Collector Vision. I know you guys are seeing them guys blow up. They're making games for the Nintendo Wii. Well, Wii U. Um, they're also making games. They're, they'll be having some games coming out for the Xbox One, PS4. They're, um, what is that called? Uh, oh, man. What is that called? Oh, no, I'm terrible right now. Um, the Sydney Hunter. Yeah, they make it Sydney Hunter for uh, home consoles. Beautiful, beautiful. I know you hear that chip tune music in the background. That's that's Rambo for the NES. Kind of celebrating the these uh, NECA vinyl dolls. Oh shoot, Andrew! I think Mom is calling you. Let me check it out. Hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry. This is live and uncut. What's going on, babes? All right. Uh, Andrew has to eat dinner now. Oh well, I'm gonna get back to this because that Rambo music is out of control. This is stereo, stereo modded NES. Got the cartridge popping in there. Ah, uh, bad focus. I'll get it. Listen to that chip tune. Always loved this game. I remember when rental stores were renting out NES games. Um, this was way before Blockbuster, and this was one of the first games I rented. And it's hard as hell. Let's get some scan lines. Sylvester Stallone. There he goes. 
And that's what NECA tried to do. They tried to make that guy look like this. Looks really good, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. I had to pick up two copies. It's funny, because I, I, the first one I got from Toys R Us, right? This is the one. I opened this one. And, um... It wasn't sealed, but I still purchased it. I didn't know they were sealed until I saw this one. This one is sealed with plastic. So I, so I said, you know what? I got to get another one. I got the sealed one. And I'll play with this one. It's looking pretty good. Let's see the back. NECA. These guys are not playing. They are making a lot of toys. I know you've seen the Nightmare on Elm Street collabo with the NES. That Freddy doll. And they got the Jason one. The Jason one, um, it's a long story. I have the, I have one coming on the way. It's been pushed back. <clears throat> um, I think they're gonna be releasing them in January. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more real quick. I got these. These are all from Toys R Us. This is also by NECA. It's probably pretty old. This is based off the movie. Yeah. This one I like a lot. Chainsaw Massacre, 40th anniversary. Um, this the guy who plays this guy. He passed away, I believe. Yeah. You know, they made. They also have the Atari collabo, um, Neca doll of um, this. I don't even know what this guy's name is, but whatever. That's looking nice. I have also that one coming on the way, the Atari Collabor one. He has like some type of green apron. That's coming on the way. I got this Predator one. I believe this is based off the Sega Genesis title. Let me see if I can get a focus. Ah. Yeah. This one also didn't come with plastic. So if I ever see him again, I'm just gonna pick him up. It's pretty cool. I like that, very detailed. This collective stuff is getting addicting for me. Mm -hmm. But it's cool. You know, me and my wife were having fun with it. We got a nice Adam West version. Based off the old school Batman TV series. I used to watch these when I was a kid also. Very cool stuff. Mm -hmm. That is looking gorgeous. I need that car one of these days. Yeah, I can go on and on with these toys. I'm running out of space in this room. It's getting ridiculous. Um, we started filling up the living room, the bedroom. You don't even know. It's, it's too much to show. I, I shouldn't even be showing this. Like, here goes one of the masterpiece sets I was talking about. Yeah, these, these Blue Streak, um, he, he goes for about 50 bucks at Toys R Us. Um, you can get these also in other stores like uh, Entertainment Earth. I got one more. I didn't open that one, and I didn't open this one yet, but I will. Soundwave. This is a platinum set. I used to have him. I know you guys know what's up with this, man. Those little tape decks. I used to love that when I was a kid. It was the best. He's looking nice. Well, through the box, of course. <laughs> That's nice. I'm, I'm going to open this up soon. I want to put them together, just like I did Devastator. Yeah, so much I can show, but I'm definitely gonna get into this Quest Forge. So, oops, I know I said I was gonna do this live, uncut, whatever, but um, I'm gonna stop the video so I can set it up, get a nice angle while I start playing Quest Forge. Love this game. I really didn't get too far. Let's see the back of it. I'm telling you guys, pick this up. It's an awesome game. It's hard too. All right, so I'm gonna be right back, right? That music is so deep. This game is so hard. I don't even think you get a continue. It's like you die, and then you just you just hear this song and you watch this title screen right here. 
All right, so we're going to get into this, but before I do, I just want to mention, you can watch the trailer, Quest Forge, on YouTube. Um, it's, it's, um, it's a really beautiful game. I love it. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm pressing the A button, and you can see I have, like, a stamina bar down there, or it's like an attack bar, actually. See, I wave the sword, so when I press it, it's like, as soon as you press it, if it's full and then it depletes so it took me a minute to understand how to attack monsters sort of reminds me of like yeast from yeast for turbo graphics well it came out for multiple systems afterwards check it out so I just walk up into the slime and I lost that battle because I didn't bring up that stamina so you want to try to run into him with that stamina as full as you can check it it's also good to get them from behind. Alright, so I'm not gonna talk much. I'm just gonna play this. <clears throat> Wait, real real quick, you got your you got your hearts down here, that's your health. I believe that's XP. The X over here with the 18. I believe the S is strength. P is power, V is vitality. W should be wits. I need I need to read the instructions. I'm crazy. pushing many blocks but I don't know probably they look destructible right? Ooh, level up let's do the strength Screen flashes and we get into battles probably like a critical. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, but this game is gonna get tough when I go inside this cave. I'll show you. Get some strength. I want that shield.
like some kind of marshland. It's time to use it, man. Oh! Oh no! I lost that one. is not doing anything in this place. Dang, man. I need to, I need to level up. I need to level up. Oh my goodness, no, don't beat me. God. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. <laughs> well, that's Quest Forge by Order of Kings. I love that trailer. The guy's like, Quest Forge by Order of Kings. He didn't sound like that, though. <laughs> Alright, you guys take it easy.